Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to share with you a new yield farm that is about to launch. I think this project offers a lot of promise and it's very different than some other yield farms that have existed before, mainly by two major mechanics that make the manor farm quite a bit different. Now, this new yield farm, a couple of things make that make it different is it basically solves some of the common problems that it happen that happens with most DeFi yield farms. So if you don't know what yield farming is, I do have a video on my channel. I explain what yield farming is in that video, but I'll link the video above. You can watch it. I'll put the link in the description to that video that basically explains what you're doing when you're yield farming and how yield farming works. Now in that video, I was talking about a different project and I for a while was doing a lot of yield farming, but I backed away from it for a couple of reasons that I'm going to get to in this video. But this new yield farm or the manor farm, as it's known, um, is quite a bit different. Now, I have a link to the Manor Farm down in the description. You can check it out if you want to come through and look through all of these links. But the, a lot of these links are not active right now. They're going to go active tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Now, I'm going to share with you what I like about this farm. But let me just tell you that I've kind of pieced together a strategy for myself in the hopes of being able to maximize my returns on this new yield farm or on the the manor farm over here the manor farm which is on the binance smart chain now if you're not if you don't have bnb tokens you would need bnb tokens to get into this farm you could use something like uh, change now if you don't have um, uh, an exchange account change now is very easy it's how i go from either btc to bnb or ethereum to bnb i'll oftentimes use this website just because it's convenient again that's if you don't have a binance account I have a whole video that gives a tutorial on change now. I'll link that above as well. I'll put it in the description so you can have that. So assuming you have BNB and assuming that you're over here and you want to get in at launch, just know that all yield farms are very, very risky. Nothing in this video should be considered financial advice. But I want you to understand the reasons that I typically don't like yield farms. In fact, I was expecting not to like this one. The developer for this project, his name is Forex Shark, and he developed another project that I'm a part of. I talked about that in a previous video, and it was a project that I, I really kind of slept on. I, I really let my ego get in the way, and I, I didn't get in on that one early enough. Now, I'm doing really well with it today. I'm doing literally, at the time of this video, I'm doing over $700 per day, literally, on that project. If you want to know more about that project, I'll link that above as well. I'll put a link in the description. But what I want to talk about today is the Manor Farm. And the developer has been able to create projects that are, I believe, are highly speculative projects. Now, everybody likes him because historically his projects so far have done really, really well. But everything has ebbs and flows in crypto, and you have to be aware of that. So I'm coming in this project. I've got a, a small amount I'm going to jump in with. And I have a specific strategy to maximize my gains. Assuming you know what a yield farm is, assuming you have BNB and you want to go in, what I think makes this project unique is that the developer understands the weaknesses of yield farming. Most of the time, what happens in yield farming is you come over here and you're going to farm something. So you're going to come down here and you're going to farm USDC and BUSD or, or BTC and Ethereum. And you end up earning these rev tokens. What you're doing is you're actually providing liquidity on like pancake swap when you're yield farming, but you're doing it through this website or through this smart contract. And the reason you would want to do that as opposed to just going to pancake swap or someplace like that is because you're going to earn additional returns in these rev tokens. Typically what happens when you yield farm is you earn these additional tokens, like in this case, it's going to be the revs and you sell them to earn additional reward. After a while, everybody keeps selling the tokens. And when they keep selling the tokens, eventually, the token value collapses. And then all of a sudden you lose the incentive to be in the farm. Now the way you play these, the safe method is to come in to two projects you like. Maybe you like Bitcoin, maybe you like DAI and BUSD, maybe you like Bitcoin and Ethereum or Ethereum and uh, USDC or, or Bitcoin and WBNB, whatever. Come into two projects you like, grab those rev tokens, sell those rev tokens. That's the safe way. And then once the price collapses, then what you do is you just withdraw your Bitcoin and your WBNB liquidity or whatever. 
Now, with this project, I, I get tired of that. Like, you can kind of chase those yields all the time. And there are people who do it. There, there are people out there who do nothing more than wait for new yield farms launching. They jump in expecting to earn a little bit of return over the next, you know, couple of weeks or month or two at, at most. And then they move on to the next farm. And they're always doing this. I don't find that to be a good passive income. So I kind of got away from the yield farming thing for a little bit. But then, and when I saw this was going to launch... Even though I liked the developer's previous project, I didn't know if I cared. I didn't really care about this one. That's the bottom line. But the more I started looking at what was going on, the more I was reading about it, I saw a couple of things that made it very unique. And this is what's unique. The Banner Farm is the first stage of a revolution in yield farming lending protocol on the Binance Smart Chain. Again, you need BNB tokens on the Binance Smart Chain to go into this project. The Manor Farm was developed in response to the vacuum left by generic projects with no long-term plan for sustainability. Again, the token that you farm, the native token, in this case it's the Rev token, historically with other projects, that native token drops in value very, very fast, so it's difficult to earn any revenue. But this project is different, and this is how it's different. We have developed unique functions, sorry, that's hard to read. We've developed unique functions that create a decentralized ownership and sustainable rewards through a multi-layer product protocol this decentralized ownership is a big deal we'll get on we'll get into that a little bit later this project or this yield farm kicks off like most farms however the animals are preparing to revolt and take ownership of what is rightfully theirs help prepare for the revolution by farming buying and staking the l1 native farm token rev those who prepare properly by accumulating their rev holdings will earn a seat at the owner's table with the launch of L2 Animal Farm, accumulating the rev to win. So let me just explain what's happening. This farm is launching in two phases. There's layer one and layer two. So the and I'll show you towards the end of the video how to get into the farm. So and I'll talk about kind of my strategy of getting into the farm here in a minute. But tomorrow around 11 a.m. Eastern time. The, you can come over here if you want it and hop into the pre-sale. Now, it takes BUSD. You have to have BUSD. I know I said, I think I said you have to have BNB. It's on the Binance Smart Chain. If you need to get BUSD, come over here, choose BUSD. BUSD, BUS, BSC. It's got to be BSC, Binance Smart Chain. And you can do that. Again, I'll, you, the link is in the description for the full tutorial It'll change now. You'll take that BUSD, you'll come over here, you'll click max, and you'll jump in and get PREV. Once you have PREV, you'll be able to convert that, P after launch, you'll be able to convert that PREV to the actual REV token. And you'll get a little bit of a discount. Now, with that being said, if you got into the private sale, which I did not, you got 20% under listing. If you got, if you get in on a public sale, which is going to be tomorrow, I think it's like the first few minutes of launch. Th this is going to sell out fast. I'm probably not, you can only come in with a max of 1,000. So there's going to be 500,000 BUSD worth sold. So there's literally only 500 people are going to get that BUSD. And they basically need the added liquidity um, for people to be able to buy it after launch. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to buy it here. If I can't buy it here, then I'm going to go over to PancakeSwap and I'm going to buy it directly from PancakeSwap after launch. And, and that's basically my strategy to get in. But I want you to understand what they're doing here. After you have your REV tokens or after you farm your REV tokens... What you can do, there's there's three mechanisms to help support price. Two of them are similar to other farms that try to support price, and one is truly unique, and that's where the decentralization comes in. So the first thing they have is they have these Rev BUSD, Rev WBNB pools. So you can stake your Rev here. If you stake your Rev to earn more Rev, then you're obviously not selling it right away, and that can help support price. Then the second part is right here. To have the rev safe house here's what's interesting in the rev safe house you don't earn rev tokens you earn busd now historically on other farms you would stake your rev to earn more rev here you stake your rev and you earn busd so you don't have to sell the rev token you literally can take the busd earnings and cash out if you want and that helps hold the price of rev up now if you're thinking yes but wealth I, i'm going to want to get out my return a lot faster than that you know, I'm going to want to sell my rev tokens. Well, maybe not because this, the third mechanism here is what makes it decentralized and a bit unique. Let me come back over here to the page. Accumulating rev to win. Secure profits on rev without selling by staking into the safe house pool to earn BUSD. So I just showed you that. 
transfer of ownership from layer one to layer two happens only 14 days after L1 starts. So layer one starts tomorrow and then layer two launches. Those who contribute their rev tokens to the layer two pre-sale will get a 20% better exchange rate than those who get in with BUSD and significantly larger allocations on the L2 farm dogs and governance token pigs. You don't have to worry about these two tokens necessarily right now, but the pigs token ends up being a governance token, not a native token, a governance token on the L2 farm. So my understanding is there's no, going to be no way to be able to farm the pig token. It's going to be a straight governance token on the layer two animal farm. So we come in here and you farm rev tokens. You're going to hold those rev tokens. The reason you're going to hold them is because you're going to want, to, at least most people are going to want to go into the layer two farm in 14 days. The layer two farm allows you to own the pig token. My goal is to get as many pig tokens as I can because that token is going to be a passive income token based on the layer two farm. The goal is that people aren't going to be dumping rev tokens as quick as they can earn them because they're going to want to at least hold those rev tokens to get into the layer two farm in 14 days. So that's what makes this unique. And when that layer two farm comes out about, it's going to also create a decentralized protocol where everyone who holds the pig tokens are going to be able to have a say and earn some of the earnings, some of the passive income from that particular farm. Ladies and gentlemen, this is quite unique. And I've, I've, I've given you the simple, simple version on this because I think it's important for you to be aware of what's happening in DeFi right now. For me personally, two strategies I have. First of all, I'm going to go in by simply trying to jump into this pre-sale with BUSD. If I can't, I'm going to use BNB and buy it directly from PancakeSwap. My second strategy is how I'm going to be farming. What am I going to do specifically to maximize my gains into this farm? Which assets do I plan to farm and how I plan to farm them? Which pool assets I plan to farm and how do I plan to farm them? I'll, I will be showing everyone on my Crypto Passive Profits newsletter exactly how I'm going to do that. So be sure to go down in the description and make certain that you subscribe. Also, make certain that you have your BNB or your BUSD. You can use Coinbase to exchange. You can use Binance to exchange or you can use change now, but you want to make certain that you have your BNB or your BUSD on hand to be able to come into the Manor Farm tomorrow at 11 a.m. at launch. Set your alarm, be prepared, try to go in early because so initially at launch, the APRs are going to be higher. As more people comes into the pools, then that APR is going to drop down quite a bit. It doesn't matter. You want to maximize the earning of those rev tokens as quick as you can. Me personally, I'm going to be coming into some of these multi-asset pools, but I'll be sharing that tomorrow in an email newsletter two hours before launch. In fact, I'm going to be recording the video now and get it set up, scheduled to go out so that you can get it and you don't miss it and you have it in time so you can see what I'm doing. Now, I don't expect you to use my strategy, but you take my strategy as information to build out your own strategy with what you're comfortable with because my strategy is a bit unique compared to what else you're probably going to see out there. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Decentralized cryptocurrency equals freedom. This is Crypto Wealth. I'm out.